back to a pearl in every castle of Sierra. This is Sealy Language Arts 600, Book 7. Your view from the back of my classroom. Okay, lesson 9. More hyphen rules and hyphens and numbers. So review, first of all, what should be corrected in this sentence? Them sandwiches are pretty decent. Those. Those sandwiches. And what about this one? I like chip cam sandwiches better than salami sandwiches. Yeah. Better than, from very things we use that. Okay, hyphen rules. We said already when we divide words at the end of the line, we can we divide the word again? No. At the end of the line? No, because if we would divide it, we would only let one syllable up there. Can we divide the word walked at the yeah. end of the line? No, because if we would divide it, we would only start with two syllables. Two syllables. Two letters. Can you letter. divide that because it is walked? Just a one syllable word. Can we divide one syllable words? No. Okay, so there's another reason why we can't do that. Walk in. Okay. Um, the rule is still the same that we cannot put two letters at the beginning of a line or one letter at the end of a line ever, ever. Now we're going to talk about a few more rules. Can we divide the word London? Yes. No. Not today. We're learning. Not today. We cannot divide proper nouns. So since London is a proper noun, has a capital letter, we cannot divide it. Don't divide anything that starts with a capital letter. Where should we divide year long? Where it is. At the hyphen. If you have a hyphenated word, make sure you divide it at the hyphen. Don't try to divide it in another place. You're kind of like adding another hyphen in a word, and that isn't acceptable. So if there is a hyphen, divide it at the hyphen. Then, other than that, there's uh, a, few, a few rules that are pretty basic. Try to divide between the affix. So that means suffix or prefix. Try to divide one of those off if you can. And if there are two, two letters, double letters, try to divide between the double letters in a word. Except if those double letters come right before the suffix or right after the prefix, then divide as prefix or suffix instead of divided letters. It's a lot of rules, but I think it will come, I think it will come naturally. It will make sense to your eyes after you do a few. Where should we divide preheater? Pre. Pre heater. Um, again, we can't divide heater because ER would leave us just the end. That is the end. What about heater? Can. Yeah, we can. Um, technically, it's divided here, but we cannot start with two letters. It's not allowed. Communicate. You have to get an M. Yeah, look, I got an I in going on there. Communicate. We divide between the double letters. Communicate. And what about passing? Pass. No. Can we? No, because if we divide here, well, for one thing, it's going to look real, real weird. Pass, sing. Um, but the ing takes precedence, so we do divide. But we're, we get, we'll divide here. Pass, ing, instead of between the double consonants. The prefix or suffix rule takes precedent. It's a stronger rule. It's the king rule. It takes charge and over the between double letters or between double consonants. Uh, another thing, and that is fractions and numbers. We write fractions and numbers with hyphens. How do we write three fourths? Three. Just like that sound. Four. Three hyphen fourths. And we put the hyphen where we put the dividing line between the numerator and denominator. Numerator, denominator, three-fourths. You've done this for a long time, but now we're just explaining why we do it like we do. What is this number? 99,000. Good, 99,000. So 99,000. And we put a hyphen between every number from 21 to 99. And anywhere that that number would show up. 21, 22, 23, 24. We don't put it in 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. But all the other numbers from 21 to 99 all get a hyphen in between them. What is this number? Don't say 0 0.095. It is 95,000. Good. 95,000. Good, 95,000 with the hyphen between the 90 and the 5. Okay, 